Hey guys, this is your girl Tavia here. Um, I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet because um, my battery is about to die. So you guys know I've been on the road. With me being on the road, I haven't been able to do my hair like I want to. So now I am about to mix my oils. So I feel like I better film it now or I may never get this video filmed. So the first oil that's up is my olive oil. It is an organic um, extra virgin olive oil. You can buy this from Walmart or um, Amazon anywhere of that such. Olive oil is high in antioxidants and content and it helps maintain scalp and hair health. It prevents the hair from cell damage and nourishes and conditions the hair. At the same time, it improves its quality so you can massage this into circulation. Um, and like circular motions in your hair and it will nourish your scalp and your hair follicles. So what I usually do because olive oil is usually the first oil I mix in, I usually do about two ounces of olive oil. I want to be using this measuring type cup right here that I got from, I got this from Amazon. It measures in ounces and in milliliters just, just so I can be precise. I have a funnel um you guys can see this is the last cup this is the last thing that i use that I, I make my oil in but if you get the ones with the ounces rolling the side of it it tends to rub off so and i need a bigger size so i got this one from sally's and it has the ounces and stuff on here but just for sake say so sometimes like i feel over when i do it that way i'm gonna just use this cup and we're gonna measure out one ounce but two ounces of the olive oil into the cup. And it doesn't have to be that precise, you know? And this little funnel, I also got that from Amazon. And you just pour that in there. So the next oil we're going to use is going to be the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. This is the one I got here from Amazon, but I'm going to be switching to the Tropical Owl once I use this up until its entirety. So yeah, once I use this up until its entirety. I'm gonna use one ounce of the Jamaican Bell Castor Oil in this mixture because in this mixture I am going to be using another oil and it's got black castor oil in it. So Jamaican Black Castor Oil, it works for all hair types. It will moisturize and thicken and strengthen and rapidly increase hair growth. It increases the blood flow to the scalp, supplying valuable nutrients to hair follicles. It also will prevent hair breakage, dandruff, eczema, and dry, itchy scalp. So the next oil I'm going to be using is going to be Argan Oil. Um, Argan Oil can moisturize your hair and scalp and protect your hair from everyday damage by reducing breakage and split ends and keep your scalp healthy. Argan Oil also may help prevent hair loss and cause your hair to be thicker and fuller and we're going to do an ounce of Argan Oil. Yeah. 
Um, you can purchase all of these oils on Amazon. They are all natural, organic. There's nothing extra in them besides just the oil. So the next oil that we're going to use, of course, to be the avocado oil. Um, the avocado oil is commonly used as a as a carrier oil for essential oils. It can also use um, you can massage it into your scalp. It will help stimulate blood flow and unclog and unclog block follicles. This help may help to fight um, hair loss. So we're going to use an ounce of avocado oil. And if you want to make more or less, you can switch up your measurements. If you want more of a certain oil than another one, you can, you can switch up your mixtures. You can add any oils that you want, anything that you think that may help your hair. You doesn't have to use the exact same thing that I am using. So just know that um, my next one is going to be grapeseed oil. And... Grapeseed oil promotes healthy hair growth, acts as a natural dandruff treatment, and also can help your hair be more conditioned, more moist. So we're just going to add in an ounce of avocado oil. I mean this, I'm sorry, an ounce of grapeseed oil. So we're going to do some almond oil. Almond oil helps hydrate and nourish your hair. It makes your hair more shinier and lustrous. Not only provides moisture for your hair, but also to the scalp. You can reduce breakage, split ends, itchy scalps, and dry roots with the almond oil. I'm going to put an ounce of almond oil in there. Like I said, if you see an oil that you think you might like more than the other, you can add more to it, add a little bit to it. I've got so many oils today. I'm just doing an ounce of each one. And then a two, I usually do two ounces of extra virgin olive oil and two ounces of black Jamaican castor oil, but I've got a lot going on here today. So we're just gonna keep it simple. So next I've got some jojoba oil. And a jojoba oil um, is used to moisturize. It's rich in vitamins and minerals and nourishes your hair. It's got vitamin C, B, E, copper, zinc. It strengthens your hair and it prevents loss and it promotes hair thickness. So we're gonna do an ounce of jojoba oil. Okay, so next I've got my Amala oils. Um, this isn't the original container it came in. The original container, um, I threw it out and I put it, the rest of it in here. You guys know I use Amala oil to pre poo my hair. Amala oil is really great. It's got vitamins, it's got vitamin C, natural antioxidants, and you massage this in the roots of your hair and it really does help with hair growth. And um, because I like it so much as a pre poo because I was using it as a pre poo by its own, I'm gonna mix it in um, a little bit with all these oils. And because I think I've got so many oils in here, one ounce of this will be fine to help and promote hair growth. But you wanna be careful with the amount of oil because it has a distinct scent to it. I'm gonna do maybe a half of an ounce. It's not the it's not the best smelling stuff in the world, so we're just gonna do a little bit. I did maybe a half of an ounce in there not too much so my next oil I have is this is just 
stuff that I'm gonna throw in here. I bought this. It's from Camille Rose. It's Camille Rose's hair growth oil. I like this oil. It's um, it's an ultimate growth serum, and it's got a model oil in it also. But just I guess maybe because this is a serum, it just doesn't feel as moisturizing as my oil, as the oil that I make for myself. So I'm gonna add about two ounces of this in here because I want to use it up. And this has great great stuff in it it doesn't have any um it's got natural oils in there just like i'm putting in mine i just like my mixture a little bit better and i like it but to use it up i'm going to mix it up in my mixture okay so last but not least i'm gonna throw in a little bit oh this isn't the last one i'm gonna throw a little bit of this tropical owl um um, strong roots pimento hair growth oil I got this from there I think I got this one from Amazon but you can get this from their website I absolutely love this stuff you can just massage this straight into your scalp the way it is but because I like it so much I am going to put about a half ounce in here and this does it this is made with Jamaican black castor oil I'm gonna do an ounce of it in here this is gonna you can use this as a pre-poo um so yeah, I really love this oil on its own as a pre-poo, but you know, if you love something, you might as well keep using it. This is hence why I bought the big old bottle because I have so many oils. So last but not least, I'm gonna use a peppermint um essential oil. And peppermint is gonna give your oil uh, a peppermint smell. It's gonna give you that scent of peppermint in there, and I love the scent of mint. Um, you can put a few drops. I like to put a lot of drops because I like to smell it. But peppermint also has good hair benefits, but I just didn't want to lick it up to the, what the benefits were. So you guys know that um, my oil mixture. You can use this oil mixture as for. A pre-poo. A pre-poo is a mixture that you will put in your hair before you wash your hair. You can use this as a hot oil treatment. I use it when I do my wash day routine to massage my scalp. You can use it in between wash days if you're feeling like your hair needs some oil to massage your scalp with. You could put it on and leave it on overnight in your hair with um, some type of shower cap or a bag to condition and to moisturize your hair. So these things can be used for a lot of different ways but it's definitely good for your hair so you like to give it a good shake after you get it all mixed in and you would like to let this sit and settle but all the oils get mixed up really good probably for like a day or two like maybe two or three days but mine is gonna be a few hours today because as you can see I'm completely out of oil and I've got to to do my hair I'm ready for my hair to get back to its prettiness but thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you hit that subscribe and that like button. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.